fire interrupting the morning commute today on the Orange Line. You can see the flames and smoke pouring out of this Orange Line car on a bridge high above the Mystic River. There were about 200 passengers on board at the time. Many left scrambling, trying to get to safety. You can see people here climbing out through windows, forced to walk on the tracks back to the station. We have team coverage tonight, including reaction from commuters. But let's start with NBC 10's Bianca Beltran with what we know about how this happened, Bianca. Well, this train we learned today went into service in 1980, and it's one of the old Orange Line trains due to be replaced when the new trains come in. Uh, but the general manager of the MBTA said that it was inspected last month. There were no problems found at that time, and all of the fire, smoke, sparks, all of that on this bridge this morning due to a loose metal part. People were really panicked, and I truly did believe when those explosions were happening, I thought that entire car was going to be engulfed in flames and we were going to be stuck. Jennifer Thompson was in the first car. She said passengers kicked open windows after they couldn't get the emergency door open. I had like one leg out the window, but I looked down and there was like a drop. People could have been breaking their legs. One person jumped into the water below the bridge. I looked down at the tracks, and I'm like, oh my god, the third rail. The MBTA said they turned power to the rail off within two minutes as 200 people evacuated the train. Many walked to Wellington Station, where shuttles replaced service. No directions. No one has any idea what's happening. I want to offer my apology to the folks who were on that train. Uh, who had to experience that. General Manager Steve Poptak said the problem was a metal sill along the base of the train car that came loose and made contact with the third rail. Every vehicle in, in service currently um, was inspected earlier today, uh, and I've not received any word uh, that there was any other issue found. Jennifer ended up walking home, shaken by the chaos. This is very serious. People could have died today, and someone has died on the train. You know, so the people... Lawmakers have to start doing something. Thankfully, no one was hurt evacuating the train. Steve Poptak said that MBTA employees were working to move people through the cars to exit out the back of the train. I asked him about the confusion among passengers, and he said that training and protocols in these types of scenarios are something that they're going to be looking at as the investigation into this incident moves forward. Reporting in Somerville, I'm Bianca Benfan, NBC10 Boston. All right, Bianca, let's take a closer look at what it was like to walk from the burning MBTA train back to the station. Riders forced to jump down from the train onto the tracks. NBC 10's Abby Nisgoda continues our team coverage. And listen, Abby, I totally empathize with those people who jumped off the train. I'm sure I would have done the same thing. Yeah, Glenn, I have to tell you, this incident, of course, it is happening at a time when there are already less trains running due to staffing. The T says it is working on safety improvements, but after what happened today, a lot of commuters questioning if they even want to walk through these gates. It's a complete train wreck. But like so many commuters, Daryl Hodges has no choice but to take it. Just don't expect him to keep a straight face when we ask him this question. Do you feel safe taking the MBTA? 50-50. <laughs> And this fire on the Orange Line is just the latest trouble on the tracks. The transit system riddled with derailments and delays. The T is in crisis. The T has been in crisis. We catch up with Stacey Thompson, a transit advocate with Livable Streets Alliance, before she hopped on the Orange Line with her niece. She says this is the result of chronic underinvestment. If you own a house, you don't pay your bills, you don't do your maintenance, the, base, the house starts to fall down. That's what we're seeing happen right now. The governor sounding off on Boston Public Radio. Stuff like this makes people crazy. It makes me crazy, and I completely understand why. The MBTA is being forced to address safety concerns now that it's under investigation by the Federal Transit Administration. 
Their preliminary report found critical staffing shortages and aging infrastructure that the T says they'll need a third of a billion dollars to fix. The general manager says despite this incident, they are making progress. Well, I remain confident in the, MB in the MBTA safety. Um, I think there's a lot we can do to make it safer. But commuters say it can't happen fast enough. Taxes pay for reliable transportation. <laughs> and we're just not getting that. With all of the issues lately, some advocates say riders like the ones you see right over here, that they shouldn't have to pay full price, that maybe the T should reduce fares for a little bit. I asked the MBTA general manager about that today. He said simply they cannot afford to do that because of all of the money and resources they need to fix everything here. We're live inside Wellington Station tonight. I'm Abby Nisgo to NBC10 Boston.